In today's video, we're opening up 25 year old Pokemon packs. The Pokemon TCG first premiered on October 20th, 1996 with the Japanese base set. These early Japanese sets are different from what you have come to expect in modern or even old Pokemon packs. The Japanese base set contained one hollow in every two packs and the next nine sets after included a hollow in every pack rather than one hollow every three packs like in the English Wizards of the Coast sets. Another interesting difference in these packs are the banned cards. There were a number of cards in these sets that had to have their artwork altered to be released in English. I will be highlighting these cards as we go throughout the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy a 25 year old Pokemon opening. Hopefully the pulls are nice. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. And this time we have a little bit of a different video today, but I'm extremely excited about it because we have original Japanese Pokemon packs. So these came out in like 1997 all the way to 2000. So we have a little bit of a range here, but this is two of the first nine Pokemon sets ever released in Japan. So we're talking about old school. If you guys were around for early Yu-Gi-Oh, most of you guys were, you guys probably saw a lot of these cards around, whether it be the Watsi versions and the English stuff or the OCG. Cause it, uh, not OCG, this is Pokemon, whatever it's called, the Japanese, how about that? So the uh, Japanese stuff was everywhere. I remember seeing a lot of it too. So this is gonna be extremely fun to open up because if you don't know, I have a Pokemon channel, Pokerux, but we do a lot of Pokemon gameplay. So I've been really into Pokemon on that side. And then back in like 2019, 2018, I was way deep in the weeds of trading card Pokemon. And so I used to know a lot of the stuff a lot better than I do now, but I'm really excited to open these up because I've never opened these before. And these are actually really cool because there's something unique about the Japanese sets after base set it changed after that so uh we start with the second set uh jungle every pack here should be guaranteed foils so uh, it's kind of a weird thing where usually we don't want guaranteed foils but when you're buying a couple hundred dollar packs you know at a time it's pretty nice when you're guaranteed a foil and we also have this silver tempest elite trainer box i picked up from walmart the other day go check out that video if you missed it we opened it opened some more regular Yu-Gi-Oh stuff but it was really fun because i got to grab this and i'm really excited to potentially pull the lugia in here and in the neo genesis japanese pack and of course we'll throw in a few legendary collection 25 anniversary because they are just the most fun packs to open up and uh you can't have you know we can't go without a little Yu-Gi-Oh. but before we get into the opening we do have a giveaway i'll be giving away these five paldea evolved packs these are the newest set in pokemon just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below your favorite old pokemon card or set let's get into the opening all right let's get into this thing let's start off with a quick silver tempest pack i'm actually really excited for this i've been excited for this since i bought these packs from a friend kid collectibles he's on instagram he was like hey i got these packs you want to buy them i can give you a good deal and i was like yes i actually really do want them because i just been at card party and seen a lot of i had seen a lot of pokemon i think i see a something some gold over there what do we got? Oh my goodness, are we starting this thing off hot? Okay, the other one we bought from Walmart the other day was terrible, so this might make up for it. We have a Psychic Energy. I see something, a little spoiler. It's like a Starlight Rare, except uh, maybe Golden. Here we go, Ralts. I don't even know if there's gold cards in Silver Tempest. I really have no idea. Just be the Lugia. I've been searching for this thing for over 200 packs. You guys haven't seen a lot of it if you weren't on Twitch, but yeah, we've seen a lot. Dratini, will it be something crazy? Lugia Beatstar! <laughs> the Golden Lugia! Goodness, I didn't even get a chance to mention that Lugia is my favorite Pokemon. Wow, oh my gosh. First pack of the Silver Tempest ETB. This is looking good for that Neo pack. Where is it? Hey, you better have a Lugia in there. Holy crap. All right, we're bringing over that Yu-Gi-Oh luck to the Pokemon opening. Wow. So this is not the like top Lugia. There's like four Lugias in the set. It's kind of like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh does this too. We put like multiple different things, but there are a lot of Lugias in the set, but that's a golden one. So that's gotta be good. It's definitely better than the one I pulled before. All right, looking good. I don't know what kind of order. I guess like an eight pack. I guess we'll just go one Japanese pack every like other pack or something like that. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, let's do a quick uh, Exodia Necros pull right here. Checkmate. I can't believe we just pulled a Golden Lugia in the first pack. That's insane. And a secret rare. Judgment of Anubis with a little ding at the top, unfortunately. But okay, we're starting off hot here. We got a secret rare and a gold card. Okay, I don't know the exact rarity of gold cards like compared to, you know, like secret rares in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I know they're a lot harder to pull than like Judgment of Anubis is. Okay, I think we're going to do it backwards because the Neo stuff is actually the crazy rare stuff. The older like jungle is not quite as rare because they printed more of it. So I'm going to start this way and we'll end up at like Neo Discovery at the end. 
They do have different names, so I'm gonna kind of give some info on each pack as we go. So Pokemon Jungle came out in March 5th of 1997. It's a 48 card set, so not that big. Some of the best cards we can pull in here are Snorlax Hollow, we have Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, all those Eevee Illusions, Scyther, Pidgeot, Kangaskhan. They're just regular hollow rares. There's nothing higher than that, but there's some really cool cards we could potentially pull. All right, here we go. Jungle pack. All right, I I don't, it's long crimp. You guys know how I am with these. I, I struggle to open these up. So let's open the bottom this way. Uh, that usually works better when I open the other ones in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, all right, here we go. We got the old school pocket monsters, Japanese logo, which is always really fun. 1997 cards, guys. I've never opened cards from 1997 before. Is there a pack trick in here? I guess we're just gotta, gotta go through it normally the first time. Oh, it's at the front. It's a Globable. Oh man, not super rare, just a hollow. All right, Clefable, I ruined it. I should have put that to the back. Okay, we're going to do that from now on. It might change throughout. We have a Spearow, we have a Goldeen, we have a Sea King, very cool. Rhyhorn, Pokeball, I don't know what that's called. We've got Tauros. What is Tauros doing, man? Showing off his butt. We got Meowth, we have uh, Execute, and we have a Dodrio. Oh, man, those are so cool. It is so cool to see those. Look at the back of that, that card. It got waxed. Okay. Yeah, loose packs. Sometimes this can happen. You know, they've been all over the place. You know, thrown around. A lot of chance to get damage. Let's take a look at this card. It looks pretty clean. The front looks nice. The back, any damage? Hopefully not. It was at the front of the pack, so like more potential to actually get damage. But the card looks pretty good overall. Definitely going to be sending these in at some point. Probably in like a, a bulkier sub for the lower end ones. I don't think Clefable is really your, you know, main jungle hollow you want. All right. Not a bad start. Uh, maybe I won't mess up the pack trick next time. I mean, you have, you have to do a pack trick. It's at the very front. All right, come on. Can we get back to back Lugia at this point? I mean, I, I'm not expecting to really top what we already pulled out of here. That was pretty crazy, but I'm down. I'm down to do it. We have the uh, Metal Energy. Ferrothorn, that card's I mean, not card. That Pokemon is crazy, I should say. I had in Radical Red. It's not, I guess it's a card. It's probably not as good as a card. We have Mischievous. We have Whalmer, Murkrow, Rufflet Reverse, and we got a Keldeo. Okay, a little pony guy. Okay, Magic Ruler or Spell Ruler, I should say. Sorry, I'm going back to 1997. I mean, Magic and Spell Ruler aren't even out yet. So, you know, I'm back in 97 mode. Where were you guys in 1997? I was, uh, I was pretty young back then. I don't think I was uh, even playing cards at that point. We have Metal Fish. We have Crab Turtle. Darkness approaches the curse of fiend. Giant turtle feeds on flames. Commencement dance. Amoeba and a messenger of peace. Another super. We are like killing it right now with the foil pulls. The next Pokemon set we have is Mystery of Fossils, aka Pokemon Fossil in the English set. Its release date was June 21st, 1997. It contains awesome hollow cards like Dragonite, Gengar, the three legendary birds, Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, Lapras, and Raichu. Fossil time, guys, which they call what they call Mystery of the Fossils. Very fun, actually. I kind of like that name. I'm assuming it's gonna be at the front again, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna put the front card to the back and see if that helps. But they probably, as the years go on, change around where the card is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be careful and just do what I can. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and do that just in case that's the foil card. Hopefully it is. We have a Magmar, very nice fire type Pokemon. We have a Ghastly. I remember this artwork so well. That is a really cool card. Graveler. All right, he's uh, he's reaching with those creepy hands. We have the uh, something about a fossil. I don't know. Uh, not that not that interesting of a card. It's a trainer. Nobody's really that excited about those. We have a Psyduck. Very nice. Okay, Psy Psy. We have the Horsey. I always liked Horsey. The Zubat, and is it the next card? It might be, no, it's an Ammonite. All right, hey, Ammonite, and, oh, a Gengar, let's go. That is a pull right there. Gengar, one of the absolute most iconic original Pokemon. This thing is looking pretty, oh no, it's not. It's got a little ding at the bottom. So it's not that, I mean, it's clean besides that, but still a really beautiful card. Probably one that I will not grade because of that. That would probably make it like an eight or something like that. So I might as well just keep this in like my Pokemon binder. Remember this from pulling this, but that's one of my favorite cards in the set. So I'm really happy about that pull. Definitely better than Clefable. Next up, Silver Tempest. You've already pulled us a gold card. This has been a really good video. I'm not gonna lie. The pulls have been insane, like insane in this video. Uh, it's gonna be hard to top these in the future. Oh, I'm, I'm knocking cards over over there. One, two, three, four. Now let's pull that Lugia alternate art. We have Water Energy. We have Dracloak. That guy's like, uh, I don't really know him very well, but he looks intimidating. We have Lantern, Whalmer, 
Murkrow, Amoga. That card is annoying, let me tell you. Meditite, and by card, I'm always referring to the games when I say that, not the actual cards. We have Kevin Durant, what's up, man? We have a uh, Dewusion, and we have a Zygarde. All right, little Zygarde action. All right, IOC, we're getting out some cool uh, legendary collection packs, so. I mean, we're two for two, I think, right now on these. One, two, three. Can we continue that? Get the Chaos Ember Dragon, Anti-Aircraft Flower, Terra King Salmon. These feel so much different. Like we're doing new new Pokemon, 1997 Pokemon, and then new Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, another secret, Invader of Darkness. The wrong secrets, but this is weird, man. We're pulling so many good cards. Invader of Darkness. Feels weird putting this in the same stack as the Fossil Hollow Gengar, but hey, we're doing it. Our next Pokemon pack is Rocket Gang, AKA Team Rocket in English. It was released on November 21st, 1997. This card contains amazing hollow cards like Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, Dark Dragonite, Dark Alakazam, and Dark Machamp. It also contains the first of our band cards, the Grimer. All right, Team Rocket time. Will we get a our first banned card of the day? There's potential to get the Grimer. It's a common card. And then there's some amazing cards like Dark Charizard, obviously. I think Dark Dragonite would be really cool as well. I mean, Dark Dragonite is an iconic card. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one to the back again. I should have watched the video before this to make sure I didn't spoil that first one. Oh, well, we have Oddish. Let's see if we can get that Grimer. We have Porygon in a box. All right. Good to see you, buddy. We have, ooh, Dark Dragonair, very cool. I remember that being the dark version. We have Meowth, some of these are probably dark and I'm not saying it. We have a uh, Magikarp. We have, I think this is Dark Gloom as well. We have a Slowpoke, all right, he's looking slow. He's looking like a poke. I love these, the artwork is so nostalgic because back in like the early 2000s and late 90s, these cards were everywhere. So you saw this stuff nonstop. Uh, I do, I don't know if I've ever seen this card. Is that a basketball hoop? Okay, he's trying to dunk, all right, nice. We have a Hitmon Lee with a kick action, and we have a. Ooh, a Dark Arbok. All right. Dark Arbok makes sense for, you know, Team Rocket. They always had the Arbok running around with them. Very cool. How's the condition looking like on this thing? Pretty good. Of course, the Gengar had a little dimple. The other ones are perfect. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Very cool. Nice looking card. No banned Grimer there, but we do have more potential for banned cards in these next five packs. All right, Silver Tempest. This might be a little bit of a longer video, but I'm also just like doing a lot of stuff in the middle of it, so maybe it's not as long. Uh, oh man, do we, we got a little spoiler here? Wait, do we get into something else? One, two, three, four. That's the problem is it's really hard not to spoil these. We have a uh, Dark Energy, Slurpuff. Sometimes you like don't spoil it, but a lot of times it just happens. Haunch Crow, we have Raichu, Raichu. We have Sandy Gast, Relicanth on the bottom of that sea floor. We got Rufflet, we got Halucha. We got a Vulpix. We have a Radiant Jirachi. Maybe that's what we saw. That's very nice. And Kling Clang. All right, very cool. So we got a Radiant Jirachi. Radiants can come in the reverse slot. So that makes it pretty interesting. I really like the special sets for Pokemon when they do like a ton of stuff in the reverse slot. So it's like, you never know when you're getting something good. This Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box is definitely better than the one we opened the other day. The one we opened the other day was rough. This one, much, much better. One, two, three. Can we get a Genzo here? You guys know it's not a video without pulling Genzo. Solemn Wishes, we have Bite Shoes. We have Invitation to Dark Sleep, DNA Surgery. Time Zero Magic Crusher, The Inspection. Monster Recovery and Bombardment Beetle. The Beetle has been bombarded. Is that our first time not pulling a foil? I think it is. We were three for three before that. Our next set is Gym One, AKA Leader Stage. Stadium or Gym Heroes in English. It was released on October 24th, 1998. It contains hollow rare cards like Blaine's Moltres, Sabrina's Gengar, Rocket's Moltres, Erica's Dragonair, and Rocket's Scyther. All right, guys, uh, let's make sure this is Gym 1, right? Yeah, 1 and 2. Okay, this actually could contain another Gengar, and this is actually the biggest Gengar, the Sabrina's Gengar. So if we go 2 for 2 on Gengars, I'd be down for that. Uh, I'm going to do this to the front or to the back. We have a... Okay, definitely a Erica. Very nice. We have a Poly Whirl. We've got a Bell Sprout. That's probably like Erica's Paul. Yeah, because they're all like based on the gym leader. So Erica's Bell Sprout. We have a Brox Prime Ape. We have a Trainer card. Very interesting. We have a Surge's Spiro. I forgot that he has a Spiro. Yeah, that makes sense. Surge's Rattata. Wait, am I? That is Surge, right? Why does he have all these random non electric Pokemon? I, I didn't really watch a ton of the anime. We have a. Uh, Erica's Oddish, very cool. We have Misty's Magikarp. And is this it? Yeah, we got Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Definitely Lieutenant Surge. The Magneton, I don't think people love Magneton that much, but I, Magneton, you have a new appreciation for it when you play with it like in the games, because it's like really good having I mean, these steel typing. 
This looks like something's going on on the top. Not looking too good there. A little bit of stuff going on there. Not the best, but I'll check that out later. But it's just Magneton anyway, so it's probably going to go in the binder. Really, honestly, cool looking artwork. I like it. Okay, Silver Tempest time. It's been a good opening so far. It started off insane, like absolutely insane. So I'm going to try not to spoil anything here like that. There we go. One, two, three, four. Have a full art something in here. We have a Leaf Energy. Grass. I always say Leaf. I just want to say Leaf. Fletchender. Rethlet. We have Vulpix. Drowsy, Growlithe, we have Mischievous, we have a iPhone, and we have a Rienculus, Rienculus, all right. Couple of hollows there, nothing too crazy. That thing just looked like iPhone, I'm not gonna lie. All right, down the last couple Yu-Gi-Oh packs with LOB, MRD, of course we gotta save MRD for the last. We'll do LOB before that. LOB, give us that blue eyes, white dragon, that'd be funny. That'd like overtake the, the Pokemon, but it just pull blue eyes. We have Dragon Treasure, we have Dissolve Rock, Frenzy Panda, Silver Bow and Arrow, Petite Angel, we have Stop Defense, and a Beaver Warrior. And our final original era Pokemon pack is Challenge from the Darkness, Gym 2 in Japanese, AKA Gym Challenge in English. This pack was released on June 25th, 1999. It contains insane hollow rares like Blaine's Charizard, Rocket's Mewtwo, Blaine's Arcanine, Misty's Gyarados, and Erica's Venusaur. It also has the potential to pull five banned cards, such as Sabrina's Gaze, Sabrina's Gengar, Koga's Ninja Trick, and Misty's Tears. Okay guys, there's a lot of potential for banned cards in this set, as well as some really high-end holo cards. So this is probably one of the best sets to open of these, because there's a lot of potential to pull really like nice cards. Let's see if we can pull any of them here. I This is also, okay, last original era, so it should still be at the front in theory. So let's find out. Let's go like this. All right, here we go. We have a Golduck, very cool. Look for those banned cards. I'll try to point them out if I see them. There's a Drowsy. We got a uh, Blaine's Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's crazy. We have Mew. That's right. We have a uh, Koga's Ekans. Who is this? Giovanni? Uh, Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni's... Uh, why can't I remember? Not Machamp. Machoke. There we go. And then we have a Spear. I'm not going to try to remember all these guys' names over and over. We have a... All right. Okay. That has Sabrina. Wrong one. No banned cards, unfortunately. Will we get a nice foil? I saw red. I thought it was Charizard. All right, we'll take this though, because Arcanine is one of the absolute coolest Pokemon. Blaine's Arcanine looking good, dude. A little bit of edgeware at the top there, but not too bad. This card's definitely pretty clean overall. All right, Blaine's Arcanine. Wow, what a pull for a second. I was like, did we just pull a Charizard? We did not pull a Charizard, but this I think was the third highest in terms of English cards, so it's probably still pretty nice. And I personally like Arcanine probably more than Charizard. I know Blasphemy, but Arcanine is really awesome. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little switch up from our usual Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but you know, opening this old school stuff is so much fun. We have more Peko, Capturing Aroma. Can we get that? Lugia. We've already gotten a gold one, so I can't ask for too much. Uh, LGM. We have the Fungus. We have a... Ooh, a Flaffy. What do they call this? It's... Uh, I forgot what this is called. I remembered it when I was opening that other set, and it's been a while, so okay. Oh, and an Omastar V. All right, so a double banger pack. Not bad. All right, that's pretty solid. Silver Tempest ETB. Definitely turn it up this time. Okay, MRD. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dun, dun, dun. Come on, give us something crazy. We have a Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress Numero Uno. Guilty of the D-Knight. Ring of Magnetism. We have Illusionist, Faceless Mage. Nimatori. What does that mean again? We have Stem Pack. Harpy Lady. We have that also. Hey, this has a banned version. Just saying. We have a Mooka Mooka. And we have a King of Yami Makai. Wields the power of darkness to destroy its enemies. I feel like Sabrina would have that as a Pokemon. Our next Pokemon pack and our first of the Neo era is known as Gold Silver to a New World in Japanese, AKA Neo Genesis in English. It was released on February 4th, 2000. It contains multiple versions of Pokemon Hollows, such as two Typhlosions, two Feraligators, two Meganiums, the legendary Lugia, and baby Pokemon like Pichu. It also has the potential to pull three band cards, Arcade Game, Card Flip Game, and the Moo Moo Milk. All right, here we go. Neo Genesis, this is the one that could contain the Lugia. If we pull that, I'm going to be unbelievably hyped. That will be one that will be in the collection forever because I do, I used to have this Japanese, I just dropped it. I used to have this Japanese version and then I had the English version, but the Japanese one I liked even more. Uh, I just, I don't know why, it just looked really good. And I got rid of it. It was like not even worth a lot. I think it was sold to Rusty, AKA TCA Gaming in 2019. So. I regret selling all my Pokemon a little bit. I paid for a honeymoon with it, so I guess Chelsea was happy. Let's see what else we can get. If we can get a Lugia here, it'll make up for all, but here we go. We have the Dark Energy. First time seeing those, I think this is when they first came out. We have the Lantern, very nice Pokemon. We have a Ledian, so we are on to Neo era. We have Granbull, the artwork on Neo is really cool. 
We have a Sentry. Very nice. He's just... Is he sitting on his tail? Uh, that's interesting. We have a uh, Pikachu. Very nice. First time seeing Pikachu. I don't think any of these are banned yet. We have an Oddish. We have a Pseudo Wudo. Who doesn't love it? Is it the next one? No, it's a Marill baby Pokemon. And finally, Lugia. No, an Ampharos though. That's not bad. Ampharos is pretty cool. We'll take that. Ampharos. A little bit on the warped side, it seems like. Hopefully not bent. Hopefully just warped. Yeah, it looks pretty clean other than that. A little bit on the warped side. That is really cool. Ampharos, Ampharos, however you want to pronounce it. Really nice electro Pokemon in crystal version. Wait, it's not in crystal version. That's the whole reason crystal is bad. That's the bad version. I think it's in gold, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, we've got a couple more Silver Tempest and we've got a couple more Neo packs, and that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. Uh, if you are not a normal watcher of the channel, welcome in. I figure that this will be less watched by my normal viewers and maybe hopefully more watched by other people because uh, it is not Yu-Gi-Oh! We have Fire, we have Venomoth, we have Wallace, but guess what? I like Pokemon too. I can't help it. I like both of them. Fungus, Relic Ant, especially old school. That's really fun. Halucha. We have Armaldo Ar and uh, Arcanine. Hey, we got double Arcanine today. Non hollow version. Not bad. Our second to last old Pokemon set is Crossing the Ruins, which is translated to Neo Discovery in English. It was released on July 7th, 2000. It contains epic hollow rares such as Umbreon, Espeon, Tyranitar, Kabutops, Houndor, Scizor, Politoed, and Smeargle. I'm not sure we can call Smeargle epic, but hey, it's up there. All right, two more. More packs here. I'm getting nervous here at the end. Neo Discovery, I would love the Umbreon. Umbreon, also a top-notch artwork. Obviously really cool. Umbreon, bless us. Uh, so it was at the front again. So that's that's nice to know. They're just very consistent. They're always at the front. Oh, I just destroyed that pack. That's unfortunate. That's okay. We'll figure it out later. Umbreon, come on. Be epic. Looks like there might be something on the top corner there. We have a Zatu. Good to see you. Kakuna Metapata. Oh! Whoa, look at that. Not bad. A cocoon of Metapoda. We have Kabuto, uh, Kabuto, not Kabutops. Little claymation looking like Pine Neko or Pine Co. Teddy Ursa eating that honey. Winnie the Pooh style. We've got a Centret. We've got a Natu and Mareep. It's not this one. And here we go. Come on, Umbreon. Ooh, a Wobbuffet. That's not one that I would have thought of. Wobbuffet, interesting card. Always really annoying to run into this thing with Destiny Bond and Shadow Tag. Yeah, very, very obnoxious card or uh, Pokemon in the video games. Very nice. Not good for Nuzlocke, I can say that. Not good at all. Very nice. We have a Wobbuffet. Very cool. All right, that leaves us with one more Silver Tempest. Here we go. Neo Discovery is going to be the last one. We're definitely hoping for some uh, legendary dogs at that point. I mean, we're in Crystal style. I'm a Gen 2 nerd okay so i love it one two three oh yeah they did these weird things i forgot we have v star we have sunflora primordial altar we have the nene chimeco phoebus can turn that mylotic we have finnegan spinnerack we have beldum we have emergency jelly and oh a Noivern. all right i'm still really happy with how that etb went especially if that first pack and our final pack of the opening is awakening legends aka neo revelation released in the year 2000 on november 23rd this set contains the first shining pokemon shining gyarados and shining magikarp as well as hollow rares like suicune Inte, raiko celebi and ho -Oh. okay this is probably the most epic one yet because it could have a shining magikarp shining gyarados those would obviously be huge any of the legendaries like uh ho -Oh, you know legendary dogs i mean that's all crazy stuff so i'm down for any of those obviously here we go give us a shiny that would be epic that would be a crazy way to end this here we go put that to the back feels a little solid could be a shining who knows we have a unknown very nice we have a uh chen chow there we go we have a pilo swine a remoraid the far-fetched we've got a mag cargo just not a good pokemon we have the uh why am i not remembering not not seeking goldine there we go a uh, Murkrow uh, just didn't see its full potential, so I got that next evolution. We have a, oh, that's a nice card. We've got a Claymation. Um, what's his name? You get the gift Pokemon. What's his name? He's a gift. Shuckle. There we go. I used him in my bug run. And finally, we have, oh, a Celebi. That is super cool. Speaking of legendaries, I got one. I got a Celebi Hollow Rare. That is cool. Yeah, definitely got a little bit on the top corner there. 
Yeah, probably not one I'm gonna send in for grading. A lot of these I'll probably just keep in my binder. Just remember this epic video. I feel like our pulls were really good. Some of them were not the best hollows, but we did get a lot of high end, like really solid ones. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Maybe like this in the future. If you guys like it, maybe we'll do more stuff like old Pokemon packs in the future. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.